What is the absolute best audio interface that you can use for your streams and YouTube videos? Well, stick around and find out. All right, so this is the software that we're looking at today. This is what I use on the daily, and I absolutely love it. I can't recommend it enough. We're looking at SteelSeries, uh, their GG software, and more specifically, their Sonar. So I used to have an Elgato Wave, and I tried to use the Wavelink software back then, and it works well, um, but the thing that it was missing were EQ, okay? Uh, and that's where SteelSeries, they just hit this out of the park. So you're gonna notice that if I'm streaming, there's also the stream remote in the top right corner here. I'm not gonna worry about that right now, um, but obviously if you're streaming, you simply click this button, you get two values for each setting. So you're gonna get the one that you sent to your own headset and the one that your stream hears. We're just gonna go to the normal mode for now though. All right, so just to start off, we're on our main mixer here where you're gonna find game, chat, media, and mic. Uh, for the first three options, you're just gonna figure out where the output's going to. And then for your mic, obviously you're dictating what is your input. For me, I have my Razer Siren Mini. It's like a $50 microphone and you might be shocked at how good it sounds. And you're gonna figure out why in just a few minutes here. So as we continue through the tabs, you're gonna see game. In here, this is where this audio interface takes not just your mic to another level, but also what you're hearing through your headset. So I currently have it on the configuration of Apex Legends because that's the game that I've been playing recently. So it automatically adjusts my EQ from just this baseline to what I want to be hearing whilst in my game. And let me tell you that it makes a really significant difference. The next thing I wanna talk about is spatial audio. So you can go either full performance, full immersion, or meet yourself somewhere in the middle. For games like Apex, having it on that full performance mode, uh, you do realize that you hear footsteps just that little bit better, uh, kind of giving you that extra little edge when you're in game. Uh, so it's something to spend a little bit of time with, not too much. It does make a difference, but it's nothing crazy. Uh, in terms of the distance setting, I actually really like this feature. Um, if you want a little bit more space in your headset, you're gonna turn that distance up to a little bit higher of a value versus if you want that audio to sound like stuff's happening right on top of you, you dial it down closer to zero uh, and you're really gonna get that feeling. So the reason why this is so good is because maybe I need to run a fan in my room. If you're doing that and you're streaming, typically that's an absolute no-no. There's no chance you're gonna retain viewers if you have something like that going on in the background. The audio is not something people want to listen to, so they're gonna check out. But with something like this, if we turn on the noise cancellation, those background noises don't exist anymore. And one that might be the most significant thing for you on a PC, if I turn this value all the way down to zero and I start to punch keys on my keyboard, my keyboard's probably eight inches away from my microphone, you can hear that sound pretty clearly. If I start to bring this value up, now I'm at about 50%, you might be able to hear it, you might not be able to. And then if I bring it to all the way max, there's absolutely no chance that you're hearing those keys. So it's a pretty incredible setting. I'm gonna set it back down to 50 because I notice for my settings, typically you don't hear much at that 50%. Um, but it's really, really nice because not only is it getting rid of those extra sounds, um, but you don't have to fiddle with noise reduction. You don't have to mess with the compressor and setting a noise gate, right? It's just doing it for you and it's doing an outstanding job at doing it. So we're gonna continue on now. I'm gonna show off the last two categories that we wanna care about. So we have chat and we have media. For media, this is just kind of a preference thing if you're listening to music, you can increase the audio quality just by adding an EQ. Um, but for chat, once again, this noise cancellation comes in as an absolute lifesaver. Whether you're in a Discord chat or maybe you're on a PlayStation party through your PC, if you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna have a video coming out soon. Um, but maybe you have the one friend and they have that fan and it's the absolute worst sound ever and you don't wanna hear it. You almost wanna mute your friend because you don't wanna hear the background noise coming through. Well, the noise cancellation does that for you. You can just hear your friend. You don't got to worry about all the crap that's going on in their house, whether it's a barking dog, it's the fan, it's their keyboard. Cut it out with the noise cancellation. And then, well, at the same time, give them an EQ, make their voice sound just that little bit better. So honestly, guys, it's, uh, it's incredible what this app can do. So that' all I have here about uh, Steel Series of software, in particular, the sonar. Uh, it's something that's absolutely incredible. Like I said previously, it's absolutely revolutionized my audio, um, not only what I hear, but also what I output with my microphone. Um, just every aspect's improved from it, and it's a free software. I It just blows my mind that when I go on YouTube, the only videos that I'm seeing about it are from SteelSeries themselves. It's crazy that more creators aren't talking about this because 
of the options that are out there, you might mix and match with NVIDIA's noise cancellation and Elgato software, uh, but this just has it all, right? And it's so easy to use. I absolutely love it. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, be sure to smash like, hit the sub button if you're new around here, and we will see you in the next one.